today again, Mathematics 9 Learners, we are on the part 2 of the Similarity and Triangle Similarity Theorem. So in this part, we're going to tackle about the Triangle Similarity Theorems. So let's start with the different Similarity Theorems. So we have here your SAS or your Side Angle Side Similarity Theorem. So this states that if an angle of one triangle is congruent to one angle of another triangle, and if the lengths of the sides including the side angles are proportional, then the triangles are similar. So it's just like the SES postulate. So if the side, the angle, and the sides are equal. So in this as, um, similarity theorem, the only difference is the side must be proportional. So let's prove on this given that the triangle BA is similar to triangle CD, given that we already have two proportional sides. So that is already the S. Okay, so we only have to find the A for us to prove that the two triangles are similar. So we have here AE over DE. We have AE over DE, proportional po. Then BE over CE, the BE and the CE. So, we just need to find one angle. So, we have here this angle. Yes, these two angles. Okay, we have your angle B, E, A, and angle D, E, C are both vertical angles. Okay, so from your learner's pocket, you will be able to see this proof. So, B, A, and D, C are Vertical angles. And the definition of vertical angles, the vertical angles are congruent. So, we have found that these two angles are congruent. The sides are proportional. Therefore, triangle BA is similar to triangle CED because we have two given the sides which are proportional. So, you have already have to look for the angle which is congruent. And that is the vertical angles BEA and DEC. So, for Side angle side, we just have to find two sides which are proportional and the angle between them must be congruent. Second, we have the SSS. So, on this theorem, it states that if the three corresponding sides of the two triangles are proportional, so we have to find three proportional or the sides which are proportional, then the two triangles are similar. We need for us to prove that the angles are congruent. For as long as the three sides are proportional, these two triangles will be similar. So we have to find or we have to show the triangle M and P here. Triangle M and P is similar to triangle QRS. So just like what we did in the first video, let's find the proportional sides. So we have first the first two letters, which is M N. The first two letters of the second triangle, which is QR. Second and third letter, NP. Second and third letter, which is RS. Then we have your first and third, MP. First and third, QS. Let's find if the sides are proportional. MN, it's 10. QR5, we have to find if they are proportional. We have our NP, which is 6, and our RS, which is 3. This is proportional with our MP, is, that's 8, on your lip. And then our QS is 4. And if we're going to get the lowest term, 10 over 5 is 2 over 1. 6 over 3 is 2 over 1. And then 8 over 4 is 2 over 1. Therefore, since all the ratios are equal, Therefore, the triangle has proportional sides. The three sides are proportional. Therefore, your triangle M and P is similar to triangle QRS. So, three sides must be proportional. So, let's proceed the third, which is the AA similarity theorem. So, in this theorem, it states that if the two angles of one triangle are congruent, so two angles are congruent respectively, the two angles of another triangle, then the two triangles or the triangles are similar. Why is that? So we don't have to find them. because all the angles of the triangle of a given triangle, the sum of the interior angles is 180 degrees. So if you already have given two angles which are congruent, therefore the third angle is already congruent. 
okay given that the angles or the similar or the interior angles of all triangles are equal so we have to prove here that triangle aob is similar to triangle doc given that ab is parallel to dc so we have here your ab is parallel to dc so if this is parallel then we have here a given transversal a cut by a transversal or parallel lines cut by a transversal our alternate interior angles are congruent we can say that your angle a is congruent with angle d then we also have uh, we have your parallel lines cut by a transversal this is your another transversal another interior angle or alternate interior angles which are congruent so we can say that your angle b is congruent with your angle c so we have already proven two angles which are congruent therefore your triangle aob is similar to our triangle doc by way by our AA similarity theorem. Kasi meron tayong dalawang angles na proof na congruent. So, we're going to review these uh, three similarity theorems. So, for SAS, we just need to prove that two sides are proportional and the angle between them is congruent. So, two sides proportional and an angle between them is congruent. By SSS, we have to prove that the three sides are proportional the all three sides are proportional so if there are only two sides which are proportional we have to prove that the, uh, the angle between these two sides are congruent but if you already have three sides which are uh, propor proportional so similar name triangles na yon. And the third one if the two angles are congruent therefore the two triangles are already similar Okay, so if we're going to have that, so you can identify the two triangles are similar depending on the similarity or the congruence of the angles and the proportionality of the sides. So let's proceed with another similarity theorem. We have the right triangle similarity theorems. It states that in a given right triangle, the altitude so, in our given here, this is the altitude. When we say altitude, it's the height. So, in this triangle, the altitude is CH. At yung altitude niya. Given here, it forms a right angle. So, the altitude to the hypotenuse. So altitude to the hypotenuse. This is the hypotenuse of our given right triangle. So, if we have an, one right triangle here. ABC in which the hypotenuse is AB. When you say hypotenuse, hypotenuse is the longest side of a given right triangle. Forget po. Yung hypotenuse, yun yung pinakamahabang side sa given na right triangle. Sa right triangle, nakabu ng 90 degrees na angle. And sabi dito, the altitude. Okay, the altitude here to the hypotenuse. So from the vertex here, going to the hypotenuse. So, this is it's the altitude to the hypotenuse. Divides. Okay, it divides the triangle into two, into similar triangles, each similar to the original triangle. So, in this case, we were able to form three triangles. So, the big triangle, which is the ABC, we have the smaller parts, which is the HBC and the AHC. So, it forms three congruent triangles. So, we were able to find three parts of proportional sides. Okay. So, we will be able to find that this one is also applicable. Magagamit niyo po itong part na to because we can compute for the sides, sides of this special right triangle using this altitude. We call this altitude as the geometric mean. So, this altitude to the hypotenuse, okay, let's say we have here A and this part is B. We can get this altitude by finding the square root of the product of that part, A and B. So, but it is not included on the leap. I just included this idea. So, 
So, soon na mga video, I will be including this lesson. So, pagtapos na siguro na ang ating third quarter. This is an additional knowledge for you. So, again, for right triangle similarity theorem, it only uh, states that if you're given with the right triangle and then you're going to draw an altitude from the right angle going to the hypotenuse, it divides, okay? It divides your right triangle into similar triangles. Then, we have another special right triangle. We have your 45-45 degree angle or 45-45-90 and your 30-60-90 right triangle. So, for your 45-45, the length of the hypotenuse if this triangle is square root of 2 times the leg of the leg of each leg is square root of 2 over 2 times the hypotenuse. So what does this mean? So if you're given with a 45-45 degree angle, so if you're, okay, since the 45-45, so these angles are congruent, this is also an isosceles right triangle. So it's an isosceles, then the two sides are congruent. So, if this is A, okay, this is also A. And this only, uh, this uh, theorem states that if the two, uh, two sides is A, then the hypotenuse is times the square root of 2 of the legs. Okay, so paano po yun? For example, we're given with, okay, let's draw a right triangle here. Just 45, 45. So, if the side or the leg is 5, then the hypotenuse is 5 square root of 2. Okay? So, pareho yung dalawang sides and then the hypotenuse is times the square root of 2. Let's have more examples. So, we have uh, different kinds of right triangles here. Assuming that we, we have 45-45 degree angle here. So, again... Thinking that I will not already write the 45-45, that this is a 45-45 degree angle. So, let's write, so, 45-45. Okay. So, if this side is, uh, it's number 5. So, let's say this side is 3. So, this leg is also 3. And then, the hypotenuse is times square root of 2, so that is 3 square root of Okay, then, another one. What if the given is the hypotenuse? For example, this is 12. Okay, what are we, how are we going to find the two legs? So, to find the two legs, we're just going to divide it by square root of 2. So, by our knowledge of our radical. So, 12 over square root of 2. So, times natin sa square root of 2 para ma-rationalize natin. So, this becomes 12. Square root of 2 over 2. Or, simply, just what we have seen uh, uh, a while ago, so times lang natin siya to 12 square root of 2 over 2. So, 12 divided by 2, that is 6 times the square root of 2. So, yung hypotenuse, divide by 2, 10 times the square root of 2. Okay, another one. Let's say this is 7. So, we're going to multiply it by square root of 2 over 2. So, that means that the two legs is 7 square root of 2 over 2. 7 square root of 2 over 2. So, again, that is if the given is the hypotenuse. So, we're going to multiply it by square root of 2 over 2. So, we're going to back, go back to the legs. So, again, if the legs is equivalent to 6. So, the other leg is also 6. And your hypotenuse is just multiplied to square root of 2. So, that is 6 square root of 2. So, that is for your 45, 45. Let's go to 30. So, for your given 30, 60, 90 triangle. So, if we're given with A. So, let's use a red pen. So, this is A. So, your hypotenuse is twice the leg. So, that is 2A. And then, the longer leg will be multiplied to square root of 3. So that's how we're going to find the 30, 60, 90 triangle or right triangle. So let's say, for example, this is 60, this is 30. So let's say this is 5, the hypotenuse is 10. 
and our longer leg will be 5 square root of 3. Okay, let's have another example. So let's write, so let's say this is three, ah, 60. Let me erase first that one. Oh, sorry. So this is 60. This is 30. So 30, 60. This is a right triangle. So 30, 60, 30, 60. Okay. So let's say the given is the hypotenuse. Let's have four different given. So given the hypotenuse, let's say this is um, 8. How are we going to find the shorter leg? So to find the shorter leg, you're just going to divide your hypotenuse by 2. So 8 divided by 2, your shorter leg is 4. Then to find your longer leg, just multiply it by square root of 3. So that's 4 square root of 3. So that is if the given is your hypotenuse. What if the given is the shorter leg? Again, if the shorter leg is the given, let's say this is 2. Okay, to find our hypotenuse muna, kuhanin natin, times 2 lang. So 2 times 2, your hypotenuse is 4. And then the longer leg, again, multiply by square root of 3. So that is 2 square root of 3. So that's how we're going to find the hypotenuse and the sh longer leg given the shorter leg. What if the given is our longer leg? So let's say the longer leg measures, let's say, 12. Okay, so to find our longer leg or to find our shorter leg, we're going to multiply it by uh, square root of 3 over 3. So 12. Times your square root of 3 over 3. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. So that means our shorter leg is 4 square root of 3. Because 12 divided by 3. And our hypotenuse, when we multiply it by 2, 4 times 2. That is 8 square root of 3. Okay? Then, so again, let's have another one. Um, let's have another na ang given again ay yung ating... Um, longer leg. Let's say this is uh, 10. So to find our shorter leg, multiply it by square root of 3 over 3. <coughs> so we cannot multiply or divide 10 by 3. So that means that our uh, shorter leg is 10 square root of 3 over 3. And our hypotenuse times 2 nyo lang yung 10. So 10 times 2. So that is 20 square root of 3 over 3. So that's how we're going to find the missing sides of our 30, 60, 90 triangle using the special right angles. Okay? So given the shorter leg, given the hypotenuse, or given the longer part of the leg. Okay, so that's all for our part 2 of our week 6 or quarter 3 week 6 so we were able to find the different similarity theorems so you are now ready to answer or to discuss to you the engagement part assimilation and the assessment part of our learners packet so see you on our next video thank you and god bless